Welcome back, my friends. It has been a while since I gave frequent updates on the latest developments in the cryptocurrency market. US cryptocurrency firm Circle could be about to fail. Circle has now disclosed that it has $3.3 billion of its $40 billion of USD coin reserves at the collapsed lender Silicon Valley Bank. Startup-focused Silicon Valley Bank collapsed on Friday in the largest bank failure since the 2008 financial crisis. As many of you may have heard by now, cryptocurrency exchange FTX filed for bankruptcy protection on November 11th. Since then, the entire crypto world has been reeling. There have been a number of other crypto bankruptcies since then. And many other cryptocurrency companies are teetering on the brink of bankruptcy. The meltdown in the cryptocurrency ecosphere shows no signs of slowing. But, where will it stop? What is the real value of Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other cryptocurrencies? What does this mean for the US economy? And, what does this mean for the future of the United States? But, before we get into all of that, please hit the like button and leave us a comment below. We would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. US cryptocurrency firm Circle has just dropped the big one. Specifically, it has $3.3 billion of its $40 billion of USD coin reserves at the collapsed lender Silicon Valley Bank. Circle is what is known as a stablecoin company. A stablecoin is a type of cryptocurrency that is designed to maintain a stable value relative to a particular asset or group of assets. Unlike other cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, whose value can be highly volatile. Stablecoins are intended to provide stability and predictability. That makes them more useful as a means of payment or a store of value. There are different types of stablecoins. But the most common ones are pegged to the value of a fiat currency. Such as the US dollar. The euro. Or the Japanese yen. This means that the value of the stablecoin will always be equal to the value of the underlying fiat currency. Stablecoins can be backed by the fiat currency in a bank account or other financial assets. That includes bonds or commodities. Alternatively, they can be collateralized by other cryptocurrencies. Or decentralized finance, DeFi, assets, which are locked up in smart contracts to maintain the stablecoin's value. The use of stablecoins has become increasingly popular in recent years. That is because they offer a way to conduct transactions in cryptocurrencies without exposing users to the volatility of other cryptocurrencies. They also provide a way to transfer funds across borders quickly and cheaply. And there is no need for traditional financial intermediaries such as banks. Circle's announcement comes after startup-focused Silicon Valley Bank collapsed on Friday. That was the largest bank failure since the 2008 financial crisis. The stunning collapse of Silicon Valley Bank roiled global markets. And it stranded billions of dollars belonging to companies and investors. Traders have been on guard this week for signs of contagion in the financial sector. They are looking for contagion from troubles for Silicon Valley Bank. And from crypto-focused Silvergate Bank. As you probably heard, Silvergate Bank disclosed plans to wind down operations and voluntarily liquidate. Boston-based Circle said last week it had moved a small percentage of USDC reserve deposits held at Silvergate to its other banking partners. Circle said in another tweet on Friday that it and USDC continue to operate normally. Circle is waiting to see how Silicon Valley Bank's receivership will affect its depositors. Several crypto companies took to Twitter to deny any exposure to the collapsed Silicon Valley Bank. The chief executive of cryptocurrency exchange Binance said in a tweet on Friday it had no exposure, as did Tether CEO Paolo Arduino. Stablecoin issuer Paxos and crypto exchange Gemini tweeted they do not have any relationships with Silicon Valley Bank. Financial regulators closed Silicon Valley Bank on Friday and took control of its deposits. The Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation was named as the receiver. The collapse left companies and wealthy individuals largely tied to the tech sector unsure of what will happen to their money. The California Department of Financial Protection and Innovation closed Silicon Valley Bank and named the FDIC as the receiver. The FDIC in turn has created the Deposit Insurance National Bank of Santa Clara which now holds the insured deposits from Silicon Valley Bank. The FDIC said in the announcement that insured depositors will have access to their deposits no later than Monday morning. Silicon Valley Bank's branch offices will also reopen at that time. Under the control of the regulator. The FDIC also said Silicon Valley Bank's official checks will continue to clear. 
The FDIC standard insurance covers up to $250,000 per depositor, per bank, for each account ownership category. It is unclear exactly how larger accounts or credit lines for companies will be impacted by the closure. The FDIC said it will pay uninsured depositors an advanced dividend within the next week. As of the end of December, Silicon Valley Bank had roughly $209 billion in total assets and $175.4 billion in total deposits, according to the press release. The FDIC said it was unclear what portion of those deposits were above the insurance limit. Silicon Valley Bank was a major bank for venture-backed companies, which were already under pressure due to higher interest rates and slowdown for initial public offerings. The closure of Silicon Valley Bank would impact not only the deposits, but also credit facilities and other forms of financing. The FDIC said loan customers of Silicon Valley Bank should continue to make their payments as normal. The move represents a rapid downfall for Silicon Valley Bank. On Wednesday, the bank announced that it was looking to raise more than $2 billion in additional capital. That comes after suffering a $1.8 billion loss on asset sales. The shares of parent company Silicon Valley Bank Financial Group fell 60% on Thursday. Then, they dropped another 60% in pre-market trading on Friday before being halted. Efforts to raise capital had failed. However, a rapid outflow of deposits was complicating the sales process. There seems to be a lot of financial turmoil in Silicon Valley these days. Investor concerns continue to mount over crypto exchange Binance. Just a month after FTX declared bankruptcy, investors are nervous about Binance. Binance's native token, which is called BNB, has plummeted 15% in the past week. That includes a drop of over 6% in the past few days. BNB was first introduced to the world in 2017. Actually, BNB is the world's fifth most valuable cryptocurrency token. It has a market capitalization of around $39 billion, behind only Bitcoin. Ethereum, Tether, and USD coin. The latest conundrum looming over Binance is FTX's bankruptcy proceedings. Binance was the first outside investor in FTX. But Binance decided to sell out its equity position in FTX last year. Binance sold its stock in FTX for $2.1 billion. Binance CEO Changpeng Zhao has been trying to reassure investors. He dismissed concerns that Binance could have that money clawed back. The crypto crash rages on. Cryptocurrency projects have collapsed and bankruptcies have occurred across the crypto industry. Warren Buffett, CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, has repeatedly said that cryptocurrencies are worthless and have no intrinsic value. Buffett says that cryptocurrencies have no value in the economy or to society. He clearly thinks that the current crypto winter is a prelude to the eventual death of cryptocurrencies. In January, few people would have predicted that this crash would happen. Regular people who never even traded stock were suddenly active in crypto trading. But, what do you think? Please hit the like button and leave a comment below. We would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. Please share this video on social media. Thank you for watching.